drive for. All right, guys. Wow, already underway here. Already underway. Welcome back to round two of so our we Wednesday night standard. Snakes versus uh, approach with gates. What gates? Uh, Azor's gateway or Azor's gate. I don't know. Something. We got gates, bro. There we go. This is Ravnica all over again. Let's see, we're gonna see right here. What is this? Azor's gateway. Leave this card. There we go. Fire it up. We tap it. Draw a card. Exile a card. Once we get five different CMCs, we flip it. We gain five life. And it taps to add mana. Is equal to the, equal to the life, life total. Mana, which is pretty obscene. Earlier today, he is, on turn six, cast two copies of Approach with the Second Sun. Yeah, consecutively. Uh, I think his life total is going to be substantially less for this one. But. Yeah, so let's say... What was that? What's that multicolored card that's in play? I'm assuming is a two drop. Uh, he had to. Explore oh, that's a branch walker. Yeah, we have a branch walker that we explored the whatever climb is. Hadana's climb. Oh, here's why, a search for his content. Why well. does that Merfolk branch walker look like multicolored at the top to me? I don't know. I don't know either. Time for a new prescription. Yes, this is true. Bang in for four. We're only stuck. We only have two lands, but we're still functioning pr decently. That's only gonna hold up until board gets wiped here. That's true. Oh, sacred cat. That is a cat and a half. All right, so we've got the zero down. I feel like we need like a little ticker at the bottom, or something like that. So he has, his hand is two more lands, sacred cat. Approach of the Second Sun and Dusk to Dawn. Yeah, that's interesting. Sacred Cat, Dusk to Dawn combo. Alright, there we go. Turns it to your hand. Cast it again. Then you get to embalm it. Draws the opt. That's a pretty good one here. Is I would just want to cast. Or do we just want to cast Sacred Cat? Because I'm just going to die to the, one of these Ballista. That's fine. It's still okay. saving your life. That's fair. I'd want to get this three drop, this uh, three power creature off the table. Probably oh, just, absolutely. Probably just jam the dusk here. Yeah, that, that's probably not a bad call. Because um, then you could stabilize with the cat. Oh, and here's the third land. Ooh. So what are we going to do with this? Are we going to play Hedana's Climb? Hedana's Climb would be good. Uh, Rishkar would be pretty good here. Rishkar would be very good here. Put two counters on each of this, these Ballista. Nope, we got to Climb. Let's put Hadana's climb up on the screen. Oh, we're responding with an opt. Oh, can we find the negate control. or the sensor? All right, so this card is pretty good. Um, it flips when you have three or more counters on a single creature, on the creature that you target with Correct, it. Correct, yeah. But you can just spread these counters out as much as you want. Yeah, although on your board. I would want, especially in this deck, I don't want to flip it. Have you read the flip side? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the flip side's good at, like, closing out the game. Like it's very good at closing out the game. Activate, target my, like, Verdant. Verdant's Gear Hulk? Yeah. Lord. Very strong. This works especially well if you go, like, turn two Winding Constrictor into turn oh, three. Uh, Dan lets him go Adonis. to blocks here. That's interesting. So now we're going to activate this. We find an Essence Scatter. Got to imagine that Essence Scatter's going away. Yeah. He's really got to be digging for a good wrath effect right now. Yeah. I mean, he's got the dusted on. It only hits one creature still. Yeah, so the fact that he has dusted on his deck might mean that he doesn't have fumigate. That's a settle. Deck. But he's settled the wreckage. Yeah, settle the wreckage seems good here. I definitely want to play an untapped land so he can loot. I don't think he has an untapped land. Oh, that's awkward. Yeah. How close is he to flipping this search for Ascanta? Uh, I'm not sure. I think he only has two cards in his graveyard, but I can't get a great look at it. Sure. We'll have a third here soon. That is true. But we get to flip the Sedona's Climb now. We if can we put want another... to. That's a good question. Do we want to? I think we do. So it's a little bit of an engine with Hadana's Climb and this Walking Ballista. That is true. You're right. So it looks like he's opting to not flip it. And we're playing around Settle. 
I'm okay with playing around settled. Do you get the lands here, or do you just dome them for four? Looks like we're doming them for four. Sounds good. Yeah, like, I don't know exactly what's in his hand. I would have expected maybe get, like, one land since he's been land screwed earlier in the game, but he's drawn some lands nicely, so yeah, I don't know. he's up to four, and he could flip this and out of climb and get a fifth whenever he wants to, really. That's true. Do a whining constructor here? That's two drop. Whining constructor would be a big Be deal. very good. It's another ballista. Just That's the third ballista. It's not as good. I believe that was a planes. Well, it looks like he kept it. So he's now one land away from flipping the search for his Kanta. We can dusk away this branch walker and hold up essence scatter. That seems pretty good, actually. Like, nope. We we have decided we're gonna embalm our sacred cat. We've got cats. He might be high on getting rid of this or um, milling. Uh, sorry, looting away this uh, dusted on. Yeah. So can we pull up Azra's gateway real quick? The question is, does Dusk to Dawn count as two different CMCs? If cards with five or more different converted mana costs are exiled by Gate, you gain five life. So I think it's converted mana cost is always just the combined. Oh, con okay. Converted mana cost, you're right, is always the combined of the two. So that's, what, seven? Uh, I thought it was four and five. So it'd be nine. Either way, it's yeah. unique enough to where that's fine. We're playing around Settle the Wreckage again. You're not really under any pressure here, so... Yeah, I mean, if he draws a land, he can just resolve approach. What is that white card he just drew? I don't know. Was that Renewed Faith? There's no way that's Renewed Faith, right? Renewed Faith it would be very good. Even if you're just cycling in here, like, yeah. life matters. I don't know if his life total is correct. He's been at 12 for a while. <laughs> Apparently that's what he has written down. All right, well, that's a, a healthy life total, given the, the state he's in. Oh, no, that is um, Slaughter the Strong. Okay, that's a good one. Yeah, although, so here it gets rid of, actually it gets rid of nothing, because in response he removes a counter from Walking Ballista, and then his creature has four power. Oh, sure. It seems like it would be pretty safe yeah. here normally. So yeah, Dust to Dawn is four and then five. So we can get nine on it here, which I'm a big fan of. I want to do yeah. that. Yeah. So now that we've seen both Slaughter the Strong and Dust to Dawn, I would su suspect there are no Fumigates. All right, Slaughter the Strong is getting the bin. I, I prefer that over Dust to Dawn because it doesn't kill anything now, and Dust sure. to Dawn d kills at least one thing. Is that the untapped land we need to approach? I doubt it. Because he's thinking so hard. He is two in the yard. Is that a strategic planning? Looks like it. Seems slightly out of place. Yeah. We're just like digging for certain things. I don't think this is our typical blue-white approach deck. Yeah, this is definitely pretty much a brew here. Yeah, I think he's trying to be a little more combo-focused with uh, Azra's Gateway. What's the card that he drew? I believe it was another it? Slaughter the Strong. Okay. Well, then pitching the first Slaughter the Strong was definitely the right call. Yes. Oh, oh, it's Riverwise Augur. Man, I would have kept that. Yeah. So you don't have a shuffle effect, which is a little bit awkward, but... Um, you have an approach in hand, so if you hit a land on any of those three cards, then putting the approach back on top is real good. Yeah. That does make sense. Is he going to slaughter here? No. Uh, I, so I don't know if Adam sees how this is going to work out for him. I think Dan's trying to make sure that this works out the way he wants it to, which it does. Yeah, just ping at him for two, uh, keep your other guy. No, you just ping him for one. Isn't That's it? true. You, just you just have to keep creatures with power up to four. Yeah, this is a much better card next turn, but you definitely want to do something this turn. Mm -hmm. I would have probably activated the Azores Gateway this turn. I probably would just would have cast Dusked it on. That's fair. 
I think he might be relying on that nine to get him to the five different converted mana costs. It's true, but he still needs another one besides that. He only has zero, two, and three right now. Yeah. The four from this Riverwise Auger would have done it. That's true. We've got a judge call over here. And it's probably Dan trying to f figure this out. I remember the first time I saw this card, I was very, I was kind of confused because it's a weirdly worded card. Yeah, it is very weirdly worded. So normally you'd think it's like you have to keep creatures like with power up to four. So like if you have one creature that's greater than four, you keep it, but you can't. You can't. No. Yeah. So like if you have two five fives, they just both die. They're both gone. But I'm I'm curious to see what the what the judge calls about. I'm curious to see what Adam's plan is here. Level four judge is now following. Thank you very much, level four judge. Do they have level four judges in magic? I thought it stopped at three. Um they used to. It oh, okay. used to five. Oh, so we just got rid of the walking ballista. Interesting. And now, what are we doing, Adam? So he's got this essence scatter. So he's only taking three. He's take four from Adonis climb. Sure. So there's another dusted on. Now he definitely that gets gets one. us to nine. And so the next turn, if he finds a something that does not cost zero, two, three, or nine, yeah. All right. Huh? Well, apparently, who's at three? Oh, <laughs> that is much different than twelve. <laughs> oh, so then I don't know why we cast Thought of the Strong. Yeah. We definitely should have just cast Dusk to Dawn. I agree. I would have not. I don't even remember anymore what he did before he cast Slaughter the Strong. He didn't do anything. He, oh, he put Riverwise Auger in his graveyard with Search for his Kanta. Gotcha. Would have but, not done that. No. But what else were you doing at that point? Um, I would have started by looting. That's true. Get as much information as possible. Riverwise Auger gives you a four. If and you want it. Yeah, if you want it. He might have just been digging for a land, which is fair. Yeah, that makes sense. But yeah, so Dan is going to win this first game yeah, over I, Adam. I d wonder what Adam's plan is for the sideboard. Because a lot of times in the sideboard of the traditional blue-white decks, they have a little bit of a transformational sideboard. Yeah, they border more creatures, things like your Hulks, Regal Caracals. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see a Sphinx out of the board. That would be spicy. which which like the blue white Azor yeah. Azor himself that would be very nice. He is an interesting character. So he's made it clear that removal doesn't really do anything against his. That's deck. true. So I mean, if you have an unanswered Azor, that's pretty much just game. Yeah. And all all the removal that you would want to bring in against like to deal with things like. Gear Hulks and things like Regal Caracal. Mm -hmm. It doesn't answer Azor in exactly the same way. Right. So now if can tempt yeah, if Raskus Hems works, uh, and the biggest hit to Azor right now is I think the fact that it just dies to Murder Dog. Oh, the Murder Dog. Yeah, and I would imagine Dan's got some number of Murder Dogs in the sideboard. Yeah, and if he's expecting he's things like uh, Gear Hulk or. Other just big creatures. I think Murder Dog is probably the rules play leaves in. Because yeah. it's also just a threat. It's just it's not a big threat, but it's yeah, a threat. But that's still fine. But all these approach decks tend to get a lot worse post board once, especially these blue decks, get to board in things like Negate. Yeah. And Dan also gets to pack Duress as well. Yeah. It's it's gonna playing be against a blue black deck is not something you want to do if you're an approach for no. at all. Although this gateway approach deck may change things. Yeah, he might have the ability to. With gateway, maybe cast two approaches in a turn, and like overload the removal spells, or like yeah. cast like dust on and uh, slaughter the strong in the same turn, overload the counter spells or whatever. Mm -hmm. And so maybe, maybe this is a new version of approach. 
Who knows? Yeah, this might be the meta breaker yeah. right here. I think what we're really missing here is just miracle cards. <laughs> miracle cards. This is just standard miracle miracles without the miracles. Uh, I don't know if you played miracles in standard before. I did not. It is not a fun experience. I believe that. Have you at least heard the infamous story of the U Team USA losing? Oh, with Brian Kibler and yeah. Namsan Wilk? Oh, I've seen that video a million times. Is, you gotta love that video. That sums up the Miracles experience. <laughs> and it is not a good thing. Everyone's seen that video. Apparently, uh, Stream Monkey Justin Blackburn has not seen that video. Yeah, you can go ahead and look it up, buddy. Give you some homework there. Yeah. I'll show you in between the rounds. Just the look of defeat on everyone's faces. <laughs> the best look in that whole picture is uh, BDM's look in the background. Yeah. Just like, what have I done? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the classic uh, Brian Kibler throws hands up in the air like he just doesn't care. Because at that point he doesn't anymore. Sensor of the Branch Walker. Heads up play. Yeah. Anytime you can get a sensor off, even Anytime. if it's inconsequential, you got to run it. I don't know why, like, I used to, like, love sensor as a card. Oh, we didn't have a third land for Adam. That's awkward. So I used to love sensor as a card, like, when it first came out with Amica, and just lately I've been, like, kind of down on it. Sure. Like, a lot of players just play around sensor so much more than they used to. And it feels a lot worse. I end up cycling it a lot more than I used to. I'm fine with cycling sensor at any point. That irrigated farmland does not come to play untapped, Adam. It does not, but he's got another sensor that he can represent here. You could also play a gateway. Yeah, gateway seems fine here. If you've got a sensor, I don't know that I'm... So he has the Dustedon in hand, and okay. maybe he just wants to get develop this gateway, and because of Hedonis Climb, almost anything Dan plays is going to be big enough that I can get tagged by this Dustedon. Sure, that's very true. Unless it's um, an army of ballistas again. Yeah, or if Dan just has nothing. That is yeah. probably a uh, great, like, best scenario, numero uno. What kind of four drops could Dan be sandbagging here? Um, Gonti? Yeah, Gonti would do it. He Let's might see. just have mono murder dogs. Just mono murder dogs. Uh, there's no Love creature it. on the board. That is a Hadama's Climb. Yes, the blue-green flip enchantment. And there's a Riverwise Augur going under that uh, Azores Gateway. So we have a four. Are we going to opt here, hope to hit a land? We are not. I would have opted. I also sure. would have opted. Hitting your land drops is very important. But him not playing something on three when it comes into play tap land kind of tells me that he's got something that costs four. That is true. What if he's got Winding Constrictor? Did I see an Essence Guy in his hand? No. No. There's a Sensor and I believe another copy of Riverwise Augur. So yeah, that's got to be good. Mm -hmm. And then we... So this Snake is now 4-5? Yeah. That's big. It is big. Also dies opt. to Dust it on. Also dies to Dust it on. But Dan could have Negate. It's a big old snake. It's a very big you snake. You are right. I think it's going to be even bigger next turn, and we're going to flip it on his climb. He could deal uh, four, five, six. He could deal 12 damage to Adam next turn, provided that this snake stays on the table. I would have flipped this search for can't I? He's got the four cards, right? You need seven cards. Oh, you need seven? You thought you needed I'm four? Like, I don't know. Man. Oh, Lord. You must have thought this card was busted. I, I've played it before, lots of times. <laughs> I never flip it, though, is the thing. Yeah, that's right. You played Godfair's Gift. You didn't want to flip it. I never wanted to flip it. Oh, it's four creatures for the other thing. That's what it was. For what? The um, Gate to the Afterlife. You did six. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> this, is how, this tells you how long it's been since John has played Standard. It has been months. I uh, I won the first PTQ I went to, which was the second of the season, and I was like, yeah, I'm done with standard for a while. You just did, I didn't need to play it. Yeah, what's the point? That's why I did so well. Yeah. <laughs> Go back and look at all of them. Severe cheating. 
Apparently that's how Robert Meadows gets all of his victories. <laughs> that's true. I know he's watching. So I think we have to dusk dawn here, right? Yeah, you can't afford to take yeah, unless, all this damage. Is there an Ixlon's binding in his hand? Ixlon's binding would be fine. Would you hit the snake or the Hadama's clock? I think you have to hit the snake. You can't let him untap with the snake. Wait, did we already let him untap with the snake? Okay. So he just plays something like a... What I love is the fact that, uh, like, if whatever he plays gets countered, then we get just to flip Hadana's climb and hit him for 12. Yeah. Like, that's a, one of the... Normally, you don't like to play things before combat, but this is one of the situations where I think it's fine. I think it's correct. He's going to try to play around Settle, I guess, here. Man, these ballistas are pretty good. It has two counters, right? Because of the sneak? It should have two counters, correct. And we put two more counters on it because of Ballista and Hadana's Climb. <sighs> that is gross. Unfortunately, is Hadana's Climb the flip trigger? Is that a may? Or is that a, is that a must? I think you have to. Okay. We could pull it up and double check. Oh, no. that That is four counters, sir. Yes, it is a must. All right. There should be four counters on that snake. So, so we're gonna hit him for ten. Ten, I believe he's supposed. I believe he's supposed to tell him because I don't think that's not a trigger. It's, it's a replacement trigger, right? effect. No, it's a replacement oh, yeah, effect. You're right. So yeah, that should be four counters, and he's. I believe he's supposed to know that. So Adam, you taking twelve? So you can take twelve, or you can die. So yeah, he did have an Ixlon's Binding, so we're going to loot here into... Oh, that's the untapping oh, Vizier. That is the Vizier untapping. of Many Sands, or Tumbling Sands? Winding. Some kind of Sands. Something Sands. I played that when I played New Perspectives. You played New Perspectives? <laughs> yeah, I did. I thought better of you. It was a blast. Did very well with it for the first couple of weeks. And then people realize, like, you know, you just counter New Perspectives. Yeah. And then you just lose. Who plays counter spells? Everybody here was the answer mm. to that. Wait, is how did we untap the uh... with vizier? Oh, we cycled the vizier to untap it. Yeah, love it. And now we get to bin this opt. Maybe we still haven't hit a fifth land, which is very awkward. But what does he have to do with fifth land? I don't think it's a real, like, thing to do with this fifth land. So we have Sensor's good call. two, three, four. But now we just take 12. Apparently we didn't take 12. No, I think we just took six. six. What are we doing with this four mana then for, for Dan? He might have just been playing around the Settler Wreckage. But we're not doing anything with the four mana or anything. If he has Settle, he's going to settle the Wine of Constrictor, in yeah. my opinion at least. I guess we're playing against... Around cast out, maybe? I don't know. Or we could put counters on Walking Ballista. I guess maybe that's what he wants to do. That seems prudent. Yeah, that's reasonable. So, do we have to Dusk Dawn here? I'm pretty sure you do. Dusk Dawn's... So, that puts Dan in an awkward spot, because then he can't... He has to not activate his ballista with when the snake's on the battlefield. Right. Otherwise, his ballista will die. Four mana here. Are we going to see the Dusted on? No, we're going to see Ixalan's Binding. So this functions the same way, except for the fact that it preserves nope. the nine in Adam's hand. It also gets negated just the same. So Adam should just be dead here. Correct. Adam is just dead. Hadana's climb, the fl the flip version of it, whatever it is, whatever the name of that land is, is going to kill him. 
Didn't Miley Cyrus write a song about Adonis Climb? I think she had something about like climbing a mountain. Yeah, it's Adonis Climb. She's okay. A yeah. Prophet. MTG Prophet. Maybe Miley Cyrus is just actually a merfolk. That and she just a lot. yeah. Whoa, we're tapping a lot of mana here. Oh, we have a Verter's Gear Hulk. I think this does the same thing. Does it though? So we put one counter on the snake. So we can get three on each of them. So it represents six damage now. Yeah, he's just dead. Yeah, dead. it does this. It does the same thing. It actually does more than the same thing, because you also get the uh, extra damage for the walking ballista attacking, and then also the damage it dealing. Yes, yeah, so we could put. We could target two and two on the constrictor and the ballista, and then we would get three and three, right? Correct. So the ballista would go up to five. Five. The constrictor would go up to seven. So but I think he's choosing to do three and one, which I don't think makes that much of a difference. That's fine. We still attack for. What is this? For this is just fourteen without activating the ballista. Yeah, this is just cool twenty damage. Yeah. If we want it. So, no, not look like Adam was able to make it through the gates here. So the what we've learned from this match is that. Uh, the snake is real, man. Yes. You gotta. You, you gotta have to kill the snake. snake. You gotta kill the snake. And also, I think this is just the classic blue-white control, relying on their expensive removal spell and or wrath, dying to negate. Yeah, that's typically how it goes. He also just missed the land, land drops, which was unfortunate. I think we're doing some quick math. I think we're realizing we're dead. And game. That's it. He's telling them that you could have dealt me 12 the other turn. He's like, didn't need to. Still had all yeah, these. Yeah, still had all these. No big deal. That's the worst. Those are the worst kind of people. Still, yeah, so still had I'm all not these. sold on this approach deck. Um, I'm not either. I think it's cute being able to do the Azur's Gateway, but not not real excited about it. See, Azur's Gateway also just fall like falls to a braid, which just makes me really scared to play it. Yeah, that's true. I mean, you're looting, so I mean, you're not really investing a whole lot into it. But uh, I wish it was actually looting because oh yeah, actually then you could insane. then it would flip search faster. Yeah, that would be nuts. I would definitely be playing lots of them if it was actual looting. As yeah, it was, probably not. But then I don't know how you would flip it without being cool. able to like abuse graveyard synergies. Look, man, just let me abuse my graveyard. No, and do it in every other format. We can't do that. <laughs> are you a dredge player? You're not a dredge player, are you? I played dredge. I mean, I have too. Played dredge in I didn't enjoy four it. different formats. How about that? That is more than I have. I have played it in one. It was modern. Sure. I played legacy and vintage dredge. Before. Oh yeah, I never did that. Just the. Full I've watched people do disgusting. it. Disgusting. But yeah, so that's it for our second round here. We should be back. We're on we're on four rounds tonight, correct? Four rounds. Yep. Yeah, we'll be back here in about twenty minutes. Yep. So I think guys full of gumbo. Full of gumbo. Yes. Apparently, City Barbecue has gumbo now. Yeah. Seasonal. I just learned this. I might have to get some. I had a buddy make a gumbo run for me, so very excited to see the fruits of his labor. Yeah. Other than that, guys, we we will see you in about twenty three gumbo filled minutes. Don't go anywhere.
Thank you.